Welcome! In this quick vid, we'll demonstrate how to view and set test results in Caseware Analytics AI. After uploading your trial balance and transactions file to your engagement, select Risk Analysis Transaction Risk from the Documents page. The results page gives you an overview of the engagement's transactions using different widgets. The Risk Summary widget divides transactions into high, medium, low, or zero risk and reports the number of transactions and their total dollar amounts. Click on any of the risk levels to filter all results by that level. The High Risk Exceptions widget shows the four tests that had the highest total monetary value of risky transactions. High Risk Users shows the top users that posted transactions of higher risk as compared to others. High Risk Journals shows the journals that as a whole have the highest risk. This is not necessarily related to high risk transactions. Use the Time Series widget to observe the risk score and value of transactions over time. You can hover over the graph to see more detailed information. You can also scroll down the results page to see the list of transactions in order of overall risk from high to low. Click on a transaction to see more information. To set the tests, select Configuration. From here you can see the full test suite in Analytics AI, and even omit certain tests from the report by deselecting them. You can also change the emphasis, or risk score, on specific tests. Additional information may be provided when you expand the test. For example, let's expand the duplicate entries test. The pie chart shows the overall percentage of transactions and total number of transactions that have been flagged as duplicates. Depending on the results here, you can assign a higher or lower risk score to influence the overall result of these tests. Note that changing the risk score won't affect the number of flagged transactions, but rather could affect the overall risk summary. Some tests, such as high amounts, can also include additional parameters for you to set. The bar graph shows the distribution of transactions by dollar amount. The threshold here is set to 99% by default. However, we can adjust this parameter to include a wider or smaller range of transactions, as illustrated in the pie chart below. Notice that for the default percentile value of 99.1%, that there are 21 transactions flagged. When we change the percentile to 99.8 and rerun the tests, the number of transactions flagged drops to 4. Analytics AI has a number of machine learning based outlier detection tests. These machine learning tests are turned off by default. In this example, we'll select the cluster based local outlier factor test and save and run the tests again. Notice that high-risk exceptions now include 183 cluster-based local outlier factor transactions. Thanks for watching.